What is up, my scrubs? Welcome to yet another Zed Technician game. This just dropped, and I'm so excited to play any game that Zed Technician makes. We're a maid service that's uh, short on some funds. So to get some money, we decide to move some items for a certain person that we may have already seen before. Oh my god, another human. I, I don't believe it. Okay, but really, it makes sense. First, you replace a single plank on the ship, then another. And you keep going until everything has been replaced and nothing from the original ship is left. Then you ask, is it still the same ship? And if not, then did it stop being the ship of the thesis? Of thesis? I don't know what that means. Okay, that's an ant. <laughs> that's a freaking ant! <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I could be friends with Ruth. I'm just gonna say it right now. Uh, I just think that would be absolutely terrifying. Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all of that? Ruth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Ruth's like, wouldn't it be easier to get like a thousand of your buddies and I'll just stand in a line and build an anthill? Well, if you ask me, uh, these, these, uh, thesis? I really don't know how to say that. Needs to quit thinking so much and go stop a ship from being dismantled. Maybe that's the point of all of this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone uh, is out to get you. I don't... I think we're getting off track here. Oh! Hold on, my phone's going off. Shoot, what's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. Oh, why is that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so, uh, gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month, too. There's one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're going to take the van. Is this ant driving? Then that's the end of the Midnight Maids. And I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career at this point. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. Oh, come on now. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move, move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Let's go. That's the Naomi I know. Well, we'll be there in no time. Uh, it's always surprising. I just like, I'm, I'm just so surprised to see the characters. Oh. Wait, is it a cockroach? I honestly don't even know at this point. Oh, I don't like it. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. Oh, we're not human. We're like a harpy. What? I take it back. It's not a human. It's a half human. I know, I know. It's just... <laughs> God, I would not hire, I would not hire a freaking cockroach to do this or whatever this is. All right, what's the first on the agenda? I'll check. The estate has been sold and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. So this seems like this takes place after the last game that we played. If you missed it, you might want to check it out or go play the game yourself. Either way, we hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into the work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish up the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it off at all, all at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put an unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. You send them a message to let them know we're here. I'll start packing up in the first, or here first. Oh, we're already playing, huh? Huh. Huh. Hey, you just really never know what kind of carriage you're gonna get in these games. <laughs> you know what? I forget forget everything I said about the roach. <laughs> I'd hire the roach. Maids. Well, we got a license plate that says maids and everything. Okay, I probably should hurry because I'm probably timed right now. All right, wait, I'm supposed to get boxes or something, right? Oh, I got boxes. Dang, how many boxes can you can you hold? All right, uh, oh, 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 wow, this is kind of fun. I'm just like grabbing everything. Take it all, it all needs to go. I don't know how much stuff I can hold. Wait, hey no Naomi, why is there a pile of doors here? I think I read something about the new owner being allergic to bronze. Like that's why they had all the doors taken off or something. A bronze allergy, how strange. Now if it was a pile of windows, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, what's up with these scratches on the wall? Can we talk about that? That's a bit weird. God, they have so much mail. There we go, that's uh, this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box out to the van. I'll be right back. Sure thing. Okay. These boxes aren't full. Oh, so it just lets you know. Okay, oh my god. 
Yo, who is this? Oh, hey, Ruth. You didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Wait, is this what's-his-face? Scared me almost half to death when he, sh uh, he showed up. Terribly sorry about the fried, madam. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Okay, so I saw the screenshots, and I assumed that this was going to be the, va the Vandermander guy, or whatever his name was. I can't remember. But he does look very similar, does he not? Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, uh, has something happened? My friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then. I should have known. But never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late an hour. Oh, does it now? Well, I promise they probably won't want to mess with Ruth. Tomorrow I can't do daylight. And I'm nocturnal. <laughs> So they only work at night. So, uh, oh God. Besides, if we don't finish the job tonight, we don't get paid. I, it's so funny. I, they said exactly what I just said. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye on, uh, for my father during your work. That man has his fair share of demons in life, and his current state has only gotten worse. So maybe that's this. This is that guy's son, and that's why they look so much alike. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Should they begin to glow blue, then you know that he's on his way. I'm sure you like to know what you should do at that point, right? Well, a family such as ours had its share of enemies. Oh, I knew something was up with that. And because of this, every room in the mansion has a secret uh, alcove that it can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots, so you should be safe therein. I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. It's bad. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave uh, you both to get back to your work. Just pretend I'm not even here. I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Uh, Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. You know, I'm with Naomi, man. Uh, thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate it. He's in the cave. He has left already. He sure is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to... All right, this game actually does seem pretty fun to play. I like packing things. Who doesn't? Oh, the blue lights are already here. Where is it? Well, I already died. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that this was going to be doing it. Like 15 boxes. Oh, that's why we have so many arms. Oh, wow. I just died right off the bat. Faced with no other acceptable alternatives, the Midnight Maids ventured into a place brimming with bad omens. And though this was nothing new for the duo, one's luck can uh, only be tested so many times before the worst eventually happens. The estate and its dark, unresolved secrets proved to finally be too much. A mansion with a closet already full of skeletons now added two more to its grim history. Six restless spirits now reside therein. Oh dang, so more people have been here. So this has got to be the same mansion from last game, right? Okay, when the blue light comes on, go hide. I know it said that, but I just had to test the waters, you know what I mean? I had to see. God, we're like playing as one of the roaches from Family Guy. You know that little skit where the freaking roaches are in the shower? Oh, so this is just... Okay, that's what it looks like to hide. Got it, all right. Well, I'm sure there's going to be more of these places, I hope at least. Wait, do I, I don't have any boxes. I gotta go back for some boxes. Are you just on, like, freaking Twitter? What are you doing? Get it because she's a bird? Oh, God. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. All right. Let's hide. Let's hide. Oh, spooky. Spooky. He doesn't know about the, the walls. He doesn't know about them. Like, seriously, like, you could, like, go help, like, go do something else while I'm doing this. We would do this job much faster. I think we really should go under. I mean, you really clearly don't care. Oh. Oh, God, dude. One would not be able to tell it right now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandiose sight. All manner of partitions have graced this room. I don't know if that's what that just said. Though, I sometimes wonder if they still would have visited uh, had they known that what truly went on here. You are weird. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, I gotta do the forks too. Holy, wait, wait. Okay, so there's a hiding spot. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. I, I actually like. I love the gameplay, man. This seems fun. Oh, it's here. Oh, I didn't even see it. Ah! I don't know what that scream was, to be honest. Oh, I hope we get to see it. See. In the last game with the hospital, you know, um, I didn't even notice until I edited the video or I like, like looked at the video back 
that sometimes the monster would just literally be popping up like in the bathroom mirrors and stuff so like there were so many spots the monster would be but i never was able to like really see it so i really hope i don't miss the monster in this one because I, I really want to see it usually we could see the monster already win my god <laughs> Go after the one on the phone. She's not even helping. Hey, check, 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 check. Pick something up, check. Pick something up, check. That's my strat. My strat's gonna be perfect. Oh, see? Get out of the way. Stop! No! Nothing! 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 Get out of the way! My god, she's so useless. I can't even believe it. What do you even say? Uh-huh. Uh, check time. It's 2 11 a.m. The new homeowner is supposed to get here at 6, so we need to finish up before then. Oh, are we actually timed? If we still want to get paid, that is. What if we just do nothing and survive? <laughs> that was like, this is awkward. Check room status. The message says, uh, pack up the table placements. Pack up the gold trays. We haven't picked up. Okay. So it'll tell us. It'll tell us so I haven't picked up everything. Oh, dear. I don't think I can carry anymore. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I was like gonna say I have to already hide. I mean, what year are we living in? These candles seem like fire hazards. I can't be the only one that thinks this. What happens if the monster comes while we're out here? Another question. That's another thing I wanted to know. What? What's happening? Oh my god, stop it, dude. <laughs> this guy is so freaky. You both seemed quite adept at this. No, I am. She is literally just on her phone the entire time. The other group of movers have already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take care of other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month when we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my, you two are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. What does that mean? You're talking like you're not even alive. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. He is a Vermander. I knew it. He's part of the Vermander curse. These Vermanders are just bad news, man. So my name is Joseph Vermander. I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. Where does he go? God, okay. This is probably the biggest room. There's so... Oh my god, already. Give me a break. He's like, I know someone's moving stuff in here. I know it. <laughs> That's what I hate the most, moving. You know what? I'm with the demon. I also also do not like moving. It's a complete uh, hassle. It sucks really, really bad. Uh, this is everything, is it not? All right, can I make it? Can I make it? I think I can make it. Let's do it. That, this box isn't full. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's not always gonna say when the room is done, but I'm, I'm assuming this one is done. So let's move. Can you please get out of the way? You bother me so much. I hate people that don't do anything. Oh my God! You, you <laughs> it's just, how many, how many caves do you got in this house? Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. While I, of course, did my best to respect the help, father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven are just from the wood, you know. God, that guy was awful. Joseph doesn't seem too bad. He's just extremely creepy. That's all. And it's not against the law to be creepy. I get technically, you know. Oh, is there really like nothing in here? I'm just picking up boxes. That's it. Oh, okay. There's like nothing in this room. Hey, dude, do we have to take the stove? I don't want to take the stove. Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> uh, okay, creepy dude, this is a good time to come in here and tell me what you wanted it to do in this room or what you guys did in this room. You, I, you guys seriously want me to pack this? I don't think I want to be here anymore. This is would be a good time for a cutscene for freaking Ruth to be like, or Naomi to be like, oh my god. Like, I knew this place was bad news. Hey, we are a maid service that doesn't judge. We just pack, that's it. Well, this is kind of creepy. They're, they're performing some Full Metal Alchemist over here. I'm starting to uh, figure out why the demons are coming, you know? Can you guess? <laughs> okay, now I gotta get out of here. Uh, and there's like a long hallway. I feel like I should hide one more time. 
uh, because like look if you go down here there's no candles it's a little it's a little freaky I I could have made it by now all right let's just move into the next room <gasps> no this is a really long hallway oh this is bad this is really bad can I run any faster please my god there's so many rooms there is this is a big house oh I see okay this room is making it hard to see the candles interesting Okay, um, well, I know where to hide, but there's like basically nothing in here. I guess this is just like a checkpoint, like where I, oh, it's okay, it's already here. Okay, okay, it's getting a little interesting now. How does he know? I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. This is a mansion after all. Okay, I can't open that. Oh my god, there's so many rooms. Okay, oh, there's a lot of hiding spots. Got it, got it. This is insane! What? Oh my god, dude, you literally just came through the wall. <laughs> this mansion has been in her family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my family. The helper treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices on all of our properties. I even tried returning all of those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on my way to pulling our family name out of the mud, you know. But then somehow, father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. He died? I don't remember the last game saying that he died. Um, didn't he go to like the hospital or something? Maybe I don't remember. To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every law he could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was next. his next logical step. Wait, is he the one coming back? Like to haunt me? Oh, bet you he looks uh, probably a little different, huh? He's like, that's my stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing a lot of rooms, but nothing to move. So let's keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's another floor. This is getting insane. Okay, all right, all right. The candle's still good. I thought that was a coffin. It's gonna say. Okay, I think I came that way. Oh, it's a bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a mirror. So I did not expect to see that. All right. Finally, things to freaking put in boxes. My god, I've been looking for things. Oh god, oh god. I was just checking myself out. Oh! Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, that, okay, I didn't expect to see him. I didn't even think about it. My hair looks so good today. That scared me so bad. What the heck? Oh, there's a vase. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, no. Oh, there's the thing. I was gonna say. Man, look at this couch. This is a huge couch. How many people you got? You guys got over here, man, hanging out. What kind of picture is this? Oh, I have to take these off the wall. Oh, go. Move, move. Oh, that actually scared me so bad. I thought monsters didn't have reflections. Yeah, dude, like he's like bald now. What was th I I want to see him again. I almost want to go back in there just to see him. He looked like he didn't have any hair. I mean, technically, I think he wore a hat, right? So I don't know. Maybe he was bald. Oh dear, I don't think I can care anymore. Oh god, I have to go all the way back to the van. That sucks. Oh, it wrapped around. Nice, nice. Okay. Can I make it? Hurry. Okay, go, 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 go. All right, get some boxes. <laughs> it's getting rather late, which means I should probably tell you about Cornelius. Who? I don't freaking care. A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants, a true paragon of a butler. I haven't had one bad word to say of the man. But one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived, and you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. However, father wasn't happy, for the man wasn't was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day, although he was not very happy. But instead of uh, occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. 
The man met his untimely demise out there all in the ice and snow. And now something appears outside every night just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. Oh god, so now we have to worry about something outside too? I kind of want to know. Oh, Cornelius, hi! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Oh, he just leaves! He just leaves! Bro, what the heck? Okay, alright, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, I didn't do it! I'm not the one that made you go in the snow to get a newspaper, Cornelius! Oh, there's a whole library? Oh my, of course you'd show up. A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations, so much knowledge. Yet somehow despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. So are you like dead or? It's just that creepy character that always has to pop up, man. Whee. All right, this is fun. This is actually kind of, it's, it's kind of, you know, other than the demons chasing us, this is kind of like, you know, therapeutic, you know, picking up all this stuff. Okay, thank God. I was like, is there a place to hide? And there is, there is. No! Ah. I should have known that my boxes would get full. Oh god. That is so freaky still. I don't know what it's just like I, I I don't I keep forgetting he's gonna look in the mirror. Oh and I'm dumb. I need to pick up those full boxes as well. I thought those were extra boxes. Oh there's more rooms. Oh god. Look at it's just over there now! Okay, I just wanted to get a good look at him. I, I just wanted to get a good look at him. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I cut it a little close there. Like, I really would, would appreciate it if you actually did something useful. She's like, nah, I don't feel like it. I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Oh, there's another one? That's crazy, we have three different monsters? Agatha used to be part of the help like Cornelius. She too was an uh, ex ex <laughs> exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close, very close. Okay, dude, don't I, you don't like, don't don't tell me anymore, please. Then, despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my uh, family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I then planned to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, Father found out. Again and again I asked him, where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish that he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she had belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Should you see the candle suddenly go out, you'll know that she's in the same room as you. That's freaky. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. Are you saying that I need to look at her? Or do I need to hide? Yo, you need to tell me. Oh god, the, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> they just went out, they just went- Ooh! Ooh! She's a fox! Quite literally. Oh god. <laughs> I got a little scared. I was literally opening it. Okay, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh, uh, what if I so? Oh my god. Where does she go? That is so creepy. I love it. <laughs> I like spooky things. Oh, oh, here comes the other one. He's coming real fast. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, she's in here. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I thought like maybe I didn't see her in time. Come here. I'm going to catch you. Hurry, hurry. Oh my God. 
Okay, it's getting like, it's getting challenging now. Those long hallways are gonna be so much more scarier. Oh! Nah, man. Nah, man. No, you can't do that. That is, that's not even fair. That's not as dirty. <laughs> Bro, that got me so good. <sighs> oh, that scared me just as much as the freaking man in the window. Come here. <laughs> I'm still not done with the library. I gotta come back. All right, all right, we gotta book it. Oh, we gotta book it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You could have just attacked us. I want to know what if we just don't look at Agatha, but what if we hide? Will we will we still die? That's a question that I have. Let's find out. Shall we? Oh god, I've seen her. Oh, she's gonna be here, huh? Oh no. No. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, so hiding does actually save you. Even against freaking Agatha. Although, you know what? I think it would be cool if there was another monster to like stop us from like, kind of like uh, doors, you know, how Roblox doors, how you can't stay in the closet too long. I think that should also be a thing. <laughs> she just pops out of the floor. I saw it. It did say that she was under the floorboards. So she's like a fox ghost. Oh God, I already have to hide. I already have to hide. Okay, we officially have one more room left and it's the basement. I saved the basement for last. Because it's the creepiest one. Alright, I'm hoping I can get all the boxes at once. I have to use all my hands for this one. Yes! Oh, is it- is it- am I- am I done? Leaving already? Yep, we're all done here. Thankfully, no offense my guy, but your house creeps me out. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does give off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm going to miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know. But it's high time for me to move on. I would have moved on knowing that those, like, this shows how creepy this guy is if he's not even scared. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer for our time here is over. I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new, uh, new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. <laughs> I'd expect nothing else from the midnight maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Oh god, he's gonna start dancing? <laughs> oh god. You're not going anywhere, boy. You know what, father? No, I'm done with you. My whole life has revolved around you. I spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you, yet you only thought of yourself. And I spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds. I refuse to let you ruin my uh, afterlife as well. That's it. So he is not alive. Oh, God. Oh, God. Agatha is so creepy. It sure took you long enough to come around, Joey. Agatha? Uh, you still remember me? Do our tongue's sticking out. Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now, come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Wanna bet, old man? Aww. All right. They, they, <laughs> what about freaking Seymour out there? He's like, no. This is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. Jeremiah? Is this the same guy? I don't even know at this point. You're going to pay for that. Oh, he, oh, <laughs> dude, the twists. Ah, there you are, sir. Cornelius. Yeah, that's what I said. Here's the newspaper you wanted. He actually, <laughs> he actually got it. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not, not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else too. <laughs> Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir is there's a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> no, I will not go yet. My legacy, I must preserve it. Ah! 
my god, that's the most bad A thing I've ever seen. Cornelius, my guy. Righto, now that's finally sorted, I better take my leave as well. Stay safe out there. They all just evaporated. Well, everything was resolved, huh? Never a dull moment, huh? Not by a long shot, my dear. Not by a long shot. This reminds me of like a like a 90s movie, like a horror movie ending. Well, we all just move, moved along. <laughs> I don't care though. I think it's like totally cool though. Well, just like, you know, there's always a good ending to these games. Everyone moved on and we got on out of there. My God, I think I quit. I would quit after this. That was Midnight's Maiden Night. Such a good game. I really enjoyed that.